Morning YouTube, it's my birthday and we're going to be doing some retro game hunting. So me and my mate Big Nell are going to be heading on over to Derby to check out Mobile Games Exchange. Then we're going to head on over to Retro World and see what we can find over there. After that we're going to jump on the bus, head on over to Nottingham, grab a few beers because, you know, why the hell not, check out the CEX and get around some charity shops. Fingers crossed guys we can get some decent retro pickups. Wish me luck. So we're in Derby guys, let's see what we can find. We're gonna have a look around Toy Planet first. Looks a bit strange that doesn't it? I'm not fully convinced that's uh, one of the best, but they're a tenner. That's pretty good. I like that. The game I do want for the collection, yeah. But it ain't in the best condition, so I'm leaving that alone. A few Pokemon titles, oh. nice. <laughs> Final Fantasy Tactics is good. Gauntlet 2. What's that? Donkey Kong Country 3. That's in nice condition. Why have they got that in the window getting flipping sun damaged? It's ridiculous. Bloody CX. That's what annoys me. Like everything in this window is just going to end up getting ruined because of the sunlight. That Metal Gear Solid for the Game Boy Color, 160 quid. Fucking hell. That looks wicked. Oh, it does at the minute, anyway. <laughs> Good job, Mike, ain't it? I don't had... know whether to have another look at that Attack on Titan 2. No, actually, I'm going to leave it because I think. You might have it now. So now we're going to head on over to Mobile Games Exchange. This is one of my favourite game shops in the country. Got fond memories of it, picked up some real good things. I got Mario RPG from here a couple of years ago. Um, so fingers crossed guys, they've got something banging for us. Unfortunately, I didn't do no good in there, um, but here's Retro World, so fingers crossed.
Tesla's done in Derby. Um, I've got a pickup from Retro World, so I'll show you what that is in a little while when we get into a pub and have our first beer. Until then, we've got to get the bus to Nottingham and uh, fingers crossed we can get some more stuff. Cheers, buddy. Right, we've had his first pint. Let's hit up the next CEX in Nottingham. You ever heard of that game? Which one now? Demolition Girl. <laughs> now I've not. Demolition Girl sounds cool though. <laughs> <laughs> Dying light. Luigi, look. Sweet as. Oh, let's head in. Yeah, so that weren't a bad CEX, picked up a PS3 title. Uh, happy days, I'll show you what that is in a little while. Come on now, just in case. I'm having that. Portable Ops Plus, nine quid for the PSP, Metal Gear Solid. You better believe it. Anything else? That's hit and run for 15 quid. That seems quite cheap. I know it's for Xbox, I don't really play Xbox. Right then. Ten pin bowling. And then they're just two FIFA games for the PS1. You know what now? They might be worth 11 quid. What? Two FIFA games. But I'm definitely having that portable ops. Always nice to bag a pickup from a charity shop, so I'll take you through it a little bit more in a little while. There's a little bit of paint on the case, but I tried flaking it off with my finger and it comes off sound, so I think it's going to be absolutely mint by the time I finish it. Like I say, I'll give you a closer look in a little while. Right then, next up, game. Hopefully, they've got some decent three for twos. Only one way to find out. Come on, let's see. Nice, I like that, that's cool. Sorry, what, 14.99 pre-owned, yeah, fair play, fair play. Decent three for twos. What? Now, this is what I was looking for in CEX. Nice. Ain't it? It is, yeah. Mate, oh, win, sweet as. So I'm enjoying it at the minute on TV, so, yep, right, cool, we have another pickup. You seen anything yourself, dude? Might pick up this Mafia game. Yeah, fair, 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 fair. Persona 5, absolute classic. I'm not sure it's your cup of tea though, no? You're not big into your RPGs really, are you? More, oh, yeah. more of a action gamer and stuff like that, which is fair. School teacher, what do you reckon? 22 99 you wanna be a school teacher for a bit? No, I didn't think so. Right, cool. Uh, Here you go, Lee. Anything here you want me on, mate? I think you should buy that fella. That's mint.
the Batman Telltale game's good now. Yeah, there's one for three for two. Advent. Advent. <laughs> 15 quid. <laughs> 15 quid. Advent calendar, what do you reckon? No. Reckon it's a goer? No. Count down to Christmas, enjoy a new present every day and get in the festive spirit. Um, you know no. What to say about it. Yeah, no, I, no, nor do I. Um, actually lost for words to be fair, but there you go. Um, let's go with Splatoon 3 instead, shall we? Yeah. Right, we're all good. Yeah, there's CEX. Where are we going after CEX, Bian? To the pub. Yes. Right, so here's the second CEX in Nottingham. Let's see what it is we're dealing with. There's a copy of Pokemon Yellow, 105 pounds. Let's go inside and have a look. We've got Harvest Moon. It's quite good actually, to be fair. I enjoyed that back in the day. What else have we got? Oh, look! Spider Man and the Return of the Sinister Six, 15 quid. The Battle of Olympus. Donkey Kong 64. Episode 1, Battle of Naboo. Now we're talking worms. That'll be one of the best games ever. You're telling me that that on the Wii U's worth over 100 quid? Yeah. How much? Yeah, about 110, I think. 110 quid? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bloody is and all. Right then guys, we're in a boozer and we are uh, having a pint of Stoford Press Dark Berry. So uh, yeah, let me show you what it is I picked up then. So first off from CEX for £3, Sniper Elite V2, complete in box with instruction manual. Now I always keep my receipts and I put them in the box with them, just a bit of history for the games, do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's Sniper Elite V2. The first one I ever played was the third. Uh, I thought it was an absolutely fantastic game, so I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Now this is the one from the charity shop that I was on about, and that's Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. Now you can see there's paint all over the case, but if you look here, it's scratching off nice and easily, so I'm not worried whatsoever. That's £9. CEX is currently selling that for a tenner. So it's got the instruction manual, as you can see, UMD, beautiful. Um, yeah, so I'd sooner give my money to charity anyway, a little bit of a cleaning up. It's not the worst thing that's ever happened. Now, this is something I've been after for a while. I've recently been kind of hooked on Attack, Attack on Titan. Um, it's something that I've really been enjoying watching. Uh, see, because I only just bought it from game. I'm not going to open it up. I do know it's complete, but that is Attack on Titan. Wings of Freedom, the first Attack on Titan game. So, uh, yes, yeah, pretty stoked to pick that up. I was after it. I've been seeing it on eBay for around about 40 quid. As soon as I've seen that for 22 99 I was like, right, done. I'm really looking forward to playing that one. Now, my big pickup for today, kind of my birthday pickup, if you like, was the first game I ever, ever owned on the Nintendo 64. Um, I had Mission Impossible was my second, and then Zelda Ocarina of Time was my third. But Banjo-Kazooie was my first ever game on the Nintendo 64. And there it is. Paid £39.99. Comes 
for the protector. And this was from Retro World in Derby. I'm absolutely buzzing to have finally added the first N64 game I ever owned to my uh, collection. So there you go, guys. And that's a little bit of an update. Now, uh, take care. If there's anything else, I will put it on here. But as of now, cheers and uh, happy birthday to me, I guess.